Hi guys, today we are going to do part two of my fall series for my traveler's notebook. This is my Foxy Fix number two pocket licorice traveler's notebook. I will link the shop below where you can purchase this. I absolutely love it. Uh, this is how we left off on the last video. We had created a dashboard here inside. Uh, that was the only thing that we had added to it. And I have the two pens the same as the video and my peach palms and my bookmark. So we're going to change this all today. There's a couple of things we're going to do in this video. The first thing is we're going to change out of this notebook into my new Foxy Fix Rowena Wide that I received today in the mail. And I am so excited. So I'm going to show you guys that. I also received uh, several items in the mail to decorate the inside pockets and the outside of this and I can't wait to add those in as well. So basically this is just going to be the next phase of changing this over to my fall setup. As I mentioned in my last video, I don't like to do that all in one sitting. I like to do it over a span of time. It's just more fun that way for me. So let's get started. I think the first thing I need to do is take everything out of this notebook because we're gonna be moving into another one. Okay guys, that is it. The Traveler's Notebook is now empty. As much as I love this licorice pocket size, I am very excited to switch into my fall one, which is going to be a Foxy Rowena, also in a pocket size, but it's a wide. So I'm gonna take that out and show you guys next. Here are all the items that came out of my current Traveler's Notebook. What we're gonna do now is we're going to uh, move into my Rowena Foxy Fix wide pocket. I am very excited about this. I received this package in the mail today and we're going to just flip it open. Now I did purchase two. I'm not going to be showing the other one in this video. Um, I ordered a black which is the licorice in the wide which is this exact traveler's notebook but just in the wider side and I added some custom stitching and some fun stuff to it. I'll be showing that for my Halloween setup but for today we're going to be using this one right here which is the Rowena and I am really excited about this. Let's open this up and take a look and I can already tell it is gorgeous. Oh my god I love it. Okay, so this is the number two pocket in wide. Here's just an extra band that they give you. And it is actually gorgeous. The color of it is exactly what I was hoping for. It's like a reddish brown color. It's beautiful. I got white stitching on mine. I got a heart embossed down at the bottom. Hearts are big in this family, so I really, really like that. And it is just gorgeous. And to show you a comparison of the width, this is my Foxy Fix regular. And this is my wide. So you can see that it is definitely um, a lot wider. You can also see there's a lot more structured with uh, a lot more structure with the reinforced spine, which I got on this one as well. So you can tell already it's going to hold a lot more. This is absolutely gorgeous. I had my name put down on the bottom right there and really loving it. Loving the reinforced spine. I was really not sure about that when I ordered this notebook, but I'm really happy that I got it. It has four strands in the center and the pockets are beautiful. What I like about them is because it's wider and I'll show you that with my licorice as a comparison. You get a lot more space. See how much wider that is? So this area here from your secretarial pocket is going to have more space so you can put more items in that pocket. This leather is gorgeous. It smells great. It's very, very flexible. It's a lot thinner than the licorice. Um, it's just gorgeous. I love it. It has the pen loop. And I'm really loving the white stitching. I like a lot of contrast on my notebooks, so that is really a plus for me. So let's put this together. 
Okay, another thing that I received in the mail this week was this gorgeous dashboard. And the name of the Instagram account that I got this from, actually it's an Etsy shop, but you can go to her Instagram account and link to her Etsy shop. It's called, I think it's Munchkins in Hawaii, H-I. So I will put that name right here. That is her Instagram name. And you could just click over to her bio on Instagram and you will see a shop link. I love this. This is super cute. She does a great job. She adds a lot of uh, glitter and little um, doodads. Really, really cute. I love it. I thought it would be beautiful for the fall time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my dashboard out that I created in the last video and I'm going to put this one in its place. And these are what's so great about these dashboards. This clear dashboard is from Foxy Fix. It's a number two pocket as well. I love that you can create your own dashboards and slide them in and then put them in your traveler's notebook. They are just awesome. So I highly suggest them. And this here is just a um, pen loop that I added and it's from the Happy Planner. So I got that at um, Michael's and I just trimmed it down because it was a little too long for me and I really, really like that. Now another dashboard that you may have seen on my Instagram is this one. I created this one myself as well. I do not have a process video for this, but it was just basically cutting a lot of pieces of paper. If you can see, I glued down all these little sections. I had this paper pack from Michael's. It was from last year. And I'll put the name of the paper packer right here. And I just took a lot of the different pieces in the paper pack and pieced them all together to create this really cute autumn dashboard. So I'm going to add this into the back. So this way you don't just see white on the back of the dashboard. And that's what's awesome about these. If you're really big into dashboards, you can put four in this one holder. So that's really awesome. So I'm going to put that in. I have some stamps that I got when I was in Italy last summer with my family. Um, I had mailed a lot of postcards and I ended up with these stamps here that are a little um, extra leftovers and I absolutely love them. So what I do is I just kind of slide them in the dashboard and I put them right here and that's what's another great thing about these dashboards you can put pictures in there you can make collages you can do pretty much anything you can store stickers in here credit cards cash whatever you want to hold in your traveler's notebook so I'm really happy with how that's come out the next thing we're going to put in is my weekly this is my weekly insert uh, this is a printable from Annie plans and I'll link that below right down here is the name she has a printable shop on Etsy and I love it. Uh, I had never printed out an insert before so I just took my time. I followed some instructions on YouTube and I think it came out really, really well. Uh, the reason why I redecorated the front of it is because this was a spring one and it had spring flowers and it really didn't go with my setup. So I used that same Michaels paper that I used here for this dashboard. And I covered up the inserts, which is something fun that you can do. I just used cardstock for the cover of this when I created it. I glued down the first page on each side so you wouldn't see any of the cardstock. And then I just covered it with this beautiful pattern paper. And then I created these little labels that I just glued on really really cute it came out nice I used just some twine that I had on hand to tie it together you do not have to do that part but I sewed it together I'm going to take my foxy dashboard and I'm going to wrap it around this insert so they're gonna wrap and that is going to be my first elastic in my new Rowena and I already can tell that I love this traveler's notebook. It is just so gorgeous. So now I have my dashboard and I have my weekly insert and this is my current week. It's, it's not completed. I'm kind of uh, on the last little bits of this insert, we're going to be switching over to a new insert. I'm considering going to a vertical, but I'm not positive yet. So you guys have to just stay tuned or follow me on my Instagram to see what I end up 
changing to. And look at all this extra space on the side here. I am just absolutely loving this wide pocket. It's gorgeous. So that is my first insert. This part here we're going to leave blank. That will be my next video. We're going to do some dashboards for that. The next insert that I have is this one. It's called Lists. I use the same Michaels paper for this as well. I loved this paper because it's glittery and I just used some glitter washi to seal the ends right here. This here was not from Annie Plans. This one here is from Paper Peng Penguin Paper Co. I always say it backwards. I'll put the name of it right here. And these are just lists that I currently have running in my um, book. A lot of them have to do with my shop, so I can't show you. But this paper is gorgeous. It is so smooth. It is so enjoyable to write on. I can't say enough about this shop. So I would definitely check that out if you're scared to print your own inserts. This one I did not print out. It came whole. The only thing I did is I took the uh, cardstock cover and I used my paper to decorate it. Okay, let's add this in as well. This is going to go on my next elastic. We'll put that in there, and I'm sorry my cat is with me today, so you're going to hear a lot of meowing. She's very vocal. <laughs> okay, so that completes the next insert, and then we're going to go to my third insert, which is my brain dump. This is also from Paper Penguin Co., and this is the grid paper. Also, this came as a whole book, and I just decorated the cardstock cover with the same Michaels paper. So let's add that to the next elastic. Okay, so that was currently what I had when I was using my regular pocket licorice. This holds a lot more than the regular. It almost looks like it's empty, so there is a lot of room left over. So for right now, I'm not 100% sure what my additional ones are going to be as of now, but I believe I'm going to be adding in a uh, fall or a Thanksgiving holiday insert from Annie Plans. She just had those posted recently and I'm gonna put that together. So for right now, I'm just gonna use this right here. This is also from uh, Paper Penguin Co. Like this as well. This is basically how they come before you decorate them. I really like that because then you can just put your own cardstock on the outside and decorate them. And then I received some Traveler's Notebook stickers from uh, Allie's planner hood. Oh my god, I love these. How gorgeous are these and how well do they work with the colors here? I got two kits from her. I got a fall one, which is gorgeous. I love how small everything is. It's going to work perfectly in these inserts. I love the icons. I love this washi tape right here. It's so pretty. And then um, the second one I got is for Halloween. So basically what I'm going to do um, I'm not exactly sure how I want to add them yet. I think I'm going to add them to the center of this book. I'm okay with doing that. You can add them anyway. I just creased them and folded them because they didn't come creased. And I can add them to the outside. I can add them to the inside. So I think on this one I'm going to add it to the inside. That's the fun thing about a traveler's notebook, guys. You can decorate it and change it and put whatever inserts you want. I have one more elastic here, so I'm just going to grab that, and I'm going to kind of put that there in the center. And I love that. That looks so cute, so I can flip through and see my stickers that I have and which kit I want to use for the week. I also have some of these traveler's notebook uh, sticker sets coming from Planner Kate. She makes them as well. Those are in the mail and they're on their way here. So I'm really happy about that. And I think I'm going to actually leave this insert in and put in another one that's going to be from Annie Plans, which is the Thanksgiving holiday insert. I'll be adding that in next. So we'll do that in the next video. But as you can see, I have quite a lot in here and there is still a lot of room. So let's just add one more thing. The dashboard that I did make in the last video, let's add that in here on this side. I think it'll look cute right here. A lot of times when we see these videos on YouTube, we see these things already put together and it's hard to figure out in our minds how they actually get put together. So I thought it would be interesting to show you guys me piecing this all together from scratch. Now, 
Now that I put the dashboard in on this side, I see that it's a little longer than I would like from the plastic, if you can see here. There's a little bit too much of an edge, so I'm gonna actually trim that down. We're gonna trim that down and make it fit a little bit better. This way it closes and it doesn't catch. So I put in my dashboard that I created, and that leaves me space for another dashboard here, but I also have another Foxy Fix whole new unit dashboard coming in. It's gonna be another four sides, so that'll be fun to decorate as well. So that is everything I'm going to put in. We're gonna decorate this side of the pocket next. Uh, the first thing I'm going to put in is this credit card. It's from a place called Home Two Suites by Hilton. It's just a place I stayed with uh, when I traveled to New York last time. Uh, my husband and I drove from Missouri to New York, so this was one of our stops. I just kind of tuck it in here, and it's for cutting washi tape, and I really like that. Then I have this piece of... Um, laminated cardstock that I just put some washi tape on that's full oriented washi tape. I actually had this left over from last year from my ring planner so I'm just going to tuck this in there as well because I think it's really cute and I'll probably end up using it. The next thing I'm going to put in is these little page flags from Smash. I have gotten a lot of questions on these. They are just normal little page flags. There's a company called Smash Books that created um, a lot of items for doing a smash book, which is like a scrapbook, and these were one of the supplies that they released when they did that. I really love them because they're the little fall trees. They are not the best stickers, but I still like to use them because I think they're adorable. So I'm gonna tuck those right here in this pocket because I think they would look really cute here. Super cute there. Okay, what else do we have? We have this piece of ephemera. This came from October Afternoon. I like it just because it says my story and I feel like this um, traveler's notebook holds my story. I have a little clip here from Hobby Lobby. I love these little skeleton clips. They're so cute. They're the mini ones and I just think they're adorable. Um, I'm going to attach that right here and yes I'm going to clip it to the front of my traveler's notebook I'm totally okay with that at first I couldn't handle that because I was afraid it was gonna make a mark yes it will make a mark but that's what this traveler's notebook is supposed to do it's supposed to pick up character and marks as you use it and as you go along so I'm totally okay with putting that there and making a mark and you guys know me if you follow me uh, you know that I don't even put paper clips in my ring binder pockets because it freaks me out a little bit but here I'm going to do it and I like to keep the one on the cover clipped open I just like that it's easy for grabbing and flipping the cover open. I've always done that, so I like to keep it that way. I have this mini Ollie clip that's in gold. I got this at the container store. It was the only place I was able to find it. It comes in a set of, I think, five or six. They're metallics. And I just keep that clipped on the pocket there because I think it's really, really cute. Um, I'm going to add in my fall leaves bookmark. This one here I create myself in my Etsy shop, so I'm going to look, link that below. I'm not going to mark anything specific right now. I'm just going to put it in there. Okay, I have two more little skeleton clips. The way I do this is I am going to clip to the most recent month, which is, let's see... September, I do not have this decorated yet. I have the sticker kit coming in the mail for that. A little behind on that one. <laughs> so we're going to put the skeleton clip in and I just flip it open, open uh, over or closed actually for that. And then I'm going to probably just clip this to itself here so that I can flip open to the current week. And I literally put like a hundred of these clips inside my traveler's notebook. So that is nothing new. Okay, I'm just going to mark my list page and my new insert because I'm going to decide what I want to put in there. 
Okay, the next thing we're going to add to this is we're going to start decorating like the top of it and the inside. Look at how awesome that is, guys. It is so super chunky. I love it. And there is definitely room to expand. I know I could put at least two more inserts in here. <laughs> That's crazy. So I am at least putting one more, which is Thanksgiving uh, holiday planning insert. So I'll show you guys that in the next video. Okay, this is the next thing I'm going to add. This bow is from Berry Sweet Plans. It is so adorable. It is this really cute plaid fall design. We're going to add that. And basically, I like to put that on my monthly. That's what's going to be marked with that. So I can flip right to it. My old traveler's notebook had these two peach palms in orange and green. I'm going to swap those out for a burgundy one. I just like that this has a lot more burgundies in it than the way I had the licorice decorated. So we're going to add that in as well. Um, that one there I usually mark my lists with. I like to mark my wish list so I can flip to it and add to it, <laughs> which I'm constantly doing. And then I'll just move this one over so it has some space. Okay, that's basically all I'm going to put on the top portion of this. So I think that's complete. I'm going to add in my pens. Now this pen loop um, doesn't really need to be trained. It's actually the new design with the elastic included. Really like that. Um, I'm not really sure which pens I'm going to want to put in this. I really want a burgundy one to match this here, and I don't have one, so I'll have to look for that. But for now, I'm going to put in my pen gems, which is the green crystal. We'll just kind of slide that in. And I like to put the clip of the pen over the pen loop because it holds it in place, and I'm totally okay with marking up the leather. It doesn't bother me. I have this Coletto pen that I got on Tokyo Pen Shop website. Love it. I got the orange for the fall, and I'm really glad that I did that. And that is one of the things I am totally loving about this wide, because look at how much space you have for pens. I can easily stick another pen in here if I wanted to. I don't have a loop for it, but it could definitely go in there with the elastic, so I wouldn't be afraid to add another one in. Okay, so we're going to flip to the back pocket. The back pocket, um, this is monthly stickers from Planning Made Perfect. I actually used the monthly for September in my ringed pocket, so I ordered another one. It's on its way, and I'm going to use it to decorate the month of September. I have these really cute uh, monthly stickers from Rockaway Paper Company. I like her stickers as well. I'll link that below. They're to mark the different holidays, so I'm going to slide that in. These here are from Stickers, Washi, and More. I love her stickers as well, which is Marcy. I have Amazon order shipped. I like to know when my items ship so I know when to expect them. Laundry, and this is when I pack orders for my Etsy shop, so I like to keep those in the little pocket. They fit perfect. This is just a photo card that my husband and I took pictures, and I have to get online to download them. So that's everything that's going to be in the back pocket. It's everything in the front. We're going to put the elastic on it and close it up. The clip that I am going to be using is this gorgeous pumpkin. It's from uh, Lovely Little Planners. I'll link her below as well. Look at the glitter on this pumpkin. It drives me absolutely bananas. I love it. <laughs> so I'm going to add that. This paper clip that I put on the outside changes with every day that passes and sometimes twice a day because I'm just like that. So it is all set up now guys. It is pretty much the way I'm going to keep it for the fall. And that's all we're going to do in this video today. No processes, sorry. Um, the next video that we'll do is we'll do a dashboard for the empty side of the Foxy Fix dashboard holder, and then I'm going to add in another Foxy Fix dashboard. So we'll have plenty to still be able to add to this. I'm going to do my Thanksgiving insert. We're going to do a lot more stuff with this. So that is everything for today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, just link them below, leave them below, and I will get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.